the collective wisdom is on this. And we've been speaking to a lot of market participants. Let's actually bring in Nilesh Sharma, President and Executive Director at Samco Securities for review. Nilesh, good to have you on. I first want to start by understanding this whole business of reducing the number of uh, products that are out there in terms of expiries, right? As uh, our colleague was just pointing out, one day you have Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, then Nifty itself. So does this mean that any exchange will offer now only one expiry in a week on any one product? What happens to all the other products uh, immediately? And what's the, the immediate impact? Um, so this is just a consultation paper. So we will have to actually wait for the actual circular to come out. Uh, and only then it would have an impact and not an immediate impact. But obviously there would be an impact on volumes per se because currently uh, every single day of the week has an expiry. Right from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's Bank Nifty, Thursday, there's Nifty. And on uh, Friday, there's Bank X. Uh, the point is that uh, in other uh, expiries, other than the benchmark indices expiries, the volumes are not so high. And because of that, uh, there can be uh, a trade which is, uh, due to the low volume, there can be uh, speculative activities which can go against uh, the retailers. That is the uh, uh, that is what SEBI is trying to curb so that the retailers don't get impacted due to the higher speculative activity. Uh, the only thing is this will have an impact definitely on the volumes. I'm not very sure how it will have an impact on the retail profitability because if someone wants to trade either on Monday, he can take a trade on Wednesday. So I'm not very sure it will have an impact on the retail uh, profit or loss, but obviously the volumes will definitely go down because of this. Uh, Nilesh, the intent is very clear, but do you have any initial estimates of how the volume turnover might be affected, especially on the option side. For instance, I'm looking at an IFL note and they say that although it is difficult to quantify the volume impact for all measures, our initial calculations suggest a 30 to 40 percent hit to the option premium turnover. Uh, do you have any initial numbers to work with? I think uh, because there's no specific data, but I believe uh, the impact would be in those lines only. Uh, because instead of five, there would be two weekly expiries. So there would be a 60% uh, down on it. But obviously, some volume will shift from, uh, let's say, a Monday expiry to a Wednesday expiry of uh, the benchmark indices. So there would be a little bit of a uh, shift uh, in volume. And uh, the loss would be in the uh, range of 30-40% only. What will be the impact, say, on a stock like a Bombay Stock Exchange? Do you have any numbers that suppose uh, the turnover comes down by, if not 30, 40 percent, because some volume may spill over to the other days, it comes down by 25, 30 percent. Then what will be the impact on BSC? Uh, so comparatively, if you compare the two exchanges, uh, this regulation kind of uh, benefits BSC more because they uh, uh, on Friday have an active uh, uh, sensex expiry which is which is where the maximum volume happens but for nsc it is there are other four days on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday are the nsc indices which get shaded a lot more so uh, if you'll see for, for nsc it will be from four indices to one benchmark indi index bsc it would be a uh, status quo kind of so i believe the hit would be more on nsc and uh, not on bsc Absolutely. And that explains the way trade is happening today as well, right, Nilesh? Look at the BSE stock price. Let's pull it up. Yeah, it's there for you. 7% higher. Uh, and the market's really shrugging off uh, this impact. In fact, a lot of the other brokers as well, stocks are all higher. Look at Angel 1, 3, 3.5%. Uh, Motilal Oswal, 361. IFL Securities. All broker stocks are also up and about today uh, as we're looking at the result. Uh, the other aspect of this is, uh, uh, Nilesh, two things. One, they're saying that you increase lot sizes. Now, I've been reading some commentary that says that because of this, in fact, there'll be more participation on the option side uh, as the lot sizes for futures perhaps are going to be much, much bigger. So coming on that, does that really defeat the purpose of killing speculation on the option side? Uh, I believe so, because if you'll see currently, there are around 50, in the June report of NSE, there are 50 lakh traders in the option market, but there are only 2 lakh traders in the futures market. So what happens is, uh, let's say what happened when uh, SEBI uh, increased the lot minimum lot size from 2 lakh to 5 lakhs. Let's say I'm a trader with 40,000 capital. Uh, I want to trade in Nifty futures. I would have been able to do it earlier. Now, since the market lot went up, I cannot trade in futures because of lack of uh, the required margin. The next best option, I want to speculate. I want to take a trade. The next best option is I'll shift to options. I believe even currently this can happen where if you want to trade a Nifty contract in futures, you need around 1, 1. 1.2 lakhs of margin. But if the Nifty lot size goes up from 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs, I'll need 4x, which is 5 lakh rupees. If I don't have that, 
uh, intuitively I will move to options. So I believe that can be counterproductive as well. Exactly. That's what we were wondering that, you know, if you're trying to get people away from options, how does this work? But, you know, to be fair, in order to streamline the options side of it as well, there are a lot of other uh, steps that they're talking about, right? Uh, this whole upfront margin from the option buyer's point of view, that's one thing. Then they're saying don't, you know, come up with too out of the money, you know, deep out of the money options. Because now the kind of strike prices you have, they have to be regulated. They need to be, uh, you know, within a certain band around the, the price of the underlying. So will these two measures measures, uh, you know, make options a little safer for retail? Uh, I believe yes, because uh, the longer the expiry, the uh, lower the volumes. And because of that, the free trades that we see happens a lot more in a low volume environment. So this will not curb the turnover, but this will actually safeguard the retail investor. I believe that is a step in the right direction because uh, the, they would be the volume would be shrunk and the volume would be actually be more in the lower strike prices. The volume will go up in the lower strike prices, and that will actually help uh, reduce the freak trades. However, I also believe that in long term contracts, let's say a quarterly or a six month contracts, uh, the uh, longer the or the higher expiry should be allowed to actually hedge the position because people generally hedge that there are a lot of strategies where people actually use for hedge also. It's not full scale speculation uh, as uh, the regulators and others are more worried that full scale speculation, but obviously that should not have an impact. The hedge and uh, genuine turnover should not have an impact. Uh, the options margin, yes, uh, to an extent that will also help in reducing the uh, speculation activity and that will also help the uh, uh, retail trader as well. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. Need to get into a break. On the other side, we'll put the spotlight on Maruti Suzuki and find out why it's buzzing in trade ahead of its Q1 numbers.